Tucker Carlson's interview, Cambo brings up Tucker Carlson's interview with John Rich and his song Revelation. Would like to see you do a breakdown on a future podcast. We did talk about it on a past podcast. And in fact, uh, Brian Ross uh, did a video on it. I think we may have commented on it in the uh, in the past. I, re- I remember which one was it? Uh, I don't remember who sent me the link or told me about that, but they, they were somewhat in it interesting there's like two or three segments that they did together that might have been the want to fix the usa share the gospel video <laughs> that may have been uh the the day that we talked about the uh tucker carlson interview because uh there were a lot of a lot of problems with that john rich interview um in particular, his interpretation of Schofield. And uh, right. uh, one of the points we made, we made many times, um, uh, a lot of the arguments against dispensationalism. I, ever since this war in Israel had started, I had in, noticed in the Christian news sites that dispensationalism was blamed for lack of support for Israel, and then dispensationalism was also blamed for supporting Israel. Uh, we, were, we were getting it from both sides. And, um, uh, you know, and then there were all of the usual uh, accusations about Schofield having been, I don't know, involved with the Rockefellers, which we talked about made absolutely no sense, no sense. whatsoever. Um, there's no evidence of this at all. And even the conspiracy theorists don't believe that it had never said anything about Schofield being all entangled with the Rockefellers, but his, but the, his Schofield Bible was published through, what was it? Oxford publishing house or something. And so there were people saying that that publishing house had Zionist, uh, beliefs and thus they were, um, uh, anxious to publish Schofield because he was very pro-Zionist. Well, Zionism back in those days simply meant that they were people were interested in seeing Israel get their own country. Um, but Zionism, it, but it, it makes absolutely no. The whole argument for me uh, makes absolutely zero sense because if you study Schofield's notes on Romans eleven, <laughs> teaching that Israel's been cast aside temporarily, uh, would actually make him the worst Zionist on planet Earth. <laughs> it, may, it, may, it makes no sense, um, and uh, that's uh, so. It always amuses me this argument that Schofield was in bed with the Zionists because what Zionists would be happy with Zofi- uh, Schofield saying that Israel's been set aside, clearly set aside in Romans 11. 